And as always, please organize your desks before recess. Remember, put reading papers in red folders, math in blue, large textbooks at the bottom. Every day it's the same thing. Organize, organize, organize! Yeah, it's not like red and blue folders will save the state. Perhaps not, but organization is the best way to avoid chaos or total disorder and confusion. Brenda, Hector, and Crandall, the governor needs you to empty the trash in his office. You are excused. <laughs> What seems to be the problem, Governor Kevin? General incompetence and major delays. Sounds like a job for Mrs. Willingans. Not these dudes, Timo. Meet general incompetence and major delays. Two ex-soldiers drummed out of their own military for, well, <laughs> general incompetence and uh, causing major delays. They look pretty messed up. Yeah, and pointy. You said it, Rope Girl. Those gnarly helmets fire rays that cause people to either forget what they're doing or to move very slowly. The criminal mind never ceases to amaze. Yellow, you got your guff. No way. Oh, bummer. General incompetence and major delays have struck the state interstate. It's total traffic turmoil. Don't worry, Governor Kevin. We won't let them peddle their pandemonium here. Timo Supremo! Go if you go now! What the? No! You gotta go! Come on, step on it! Gee, yo! I thought the chief would get things moving faster than this. I'm not so sure it's the chief's fault. Look! Major, fire when ready. Yes, sir, sir. It's simply a question of redistributing the commuter's working hours. Why, with a little organization, I'd make it rain, and everyone would drive home faster so they wouldn't get wet. Major and General, sirs, I respectfully request that you surrender. Surrender? Never. Request denied. I like directing traffic. All clear. Dazao! What's the chief doing? It looks like he's suddenly forgotten how to direct traffic. Timo, let's move. Uh, Sorry, chief, but maybe you should direct traffic somewhere less trafficy. No swinging in the crosswalk. Chaos effect in full effect, General Sir, sir. Outstanding! And this is just the first volley. Now to mobilize my campaign of chaos! <laughs> You okay, Chief? Stop calling me Chief. That's a big no. Well, at least he's out of danger. Indeed. Now let's put a stop to this military mayhem. Outstanding. Oh, no. The state's drinking water is turning into sludge. Time for a rope go round up. What the Nice work, Rope Girl. Thanks, but that water's gonna take extra long to get clean. Where are they going to strike next? Washing machine TVs and ice dispensing ovens. Masterful tactics, sir. Yes, truly remarkable. Now for some chow. Outstanding. Major, roll out. This can't be good for business. What can we do, Cap? I think we need some level 7 help with this one, Timo. This is turning into a major bummer, Timo. The state's roads, industries, utilities, even restaurants are all in chaos. It won't be long before our entire state grinds to a halt. We'd have stopped them by now if the rays weren't affecting so many innocent people. Hopefully, Mr. Paulson can help us counteract those crazy rays. Did you fill out a request for countermeasures form in triplicate? I knew we forgot something. Hold it, there's no such form. Uh-oh, dude, looks like you've been doused by that gnarly incompetence ray. Nonsense. If I were incompetent, would I be running several complicated and highly volatile experiments all at once? My beautiful, unstable elements. Timo! Active 
activating fire suppression systems now. Rock and rescue, Timo. Just doing our job, Governor Kevin. And just in time. I've just gotten word that the lines at the CalMarch checkout are out of control. Sounds like general incompetence and major delays to me. Let's go, Timo. <laughs> Attention, Calmark shoppers. There is no waiting, none at all, on aisle. <laughs> Once my push is complete, they'll be too disorganized to stop us. Yes, sir, sir. You should know better than to waste food, General. Stupor troopers, commence the attack. <laughs> Net loop. Hello, Crandall. I was just buying the ingredients for your favorite, peanut butter potting soil meatloaf. And I have some advice. Why don't you catch the bad guys? Uh, thanks, Gene. Sure, whatever your name is. I have to know this stuff if I'm gonna be a talking rutabaga someday. That's whoopa, <gasps> sir, to you. I can hear you, soldier. <laughs> Time to regroup. Fall back, men. Everyone okay? Huh? A zoom on my board. Cheek. Something. Rope girl, skate lad. It's Captain Crandall. I don't think I've ever gone that slow on my board before. Do we catch the bad guys? Not yet, but we will, rope girl. We will. Timo, I need you pronto. I'm outside in my limo. Let's go, Timo. <laughs> got here as fast as we could. Radical. So what brings you super kids here today? You called us. No kidding. Oh, trippy. Must have had a rocket reason. I... Maybe I was just checking on you, huh? Could it be that you got hit by the general's incompetence wave? Bingo! General incompetence. <laughs> His ray jammed me up something nasty. Uh, maybe you need a nap back at the mansion, Governor Kevin. Totally. First, I need to stop by the office and streamline that whole tax thing with a groovy system of haikus. Peace out, dudes. Has everybody gone kablooky? In his condition, I don't see how Governor Kevin's going to keep the whole state organized. Gee, yo! And I thought keeping my desk organized was tough. That's it, Skate Lad. Mrs. Willingans' lesson. If we're going to fight chaos, we have to get ourselves totally organized first. You mean like putting our super tools in red and blue folders? I was thinking we could write down step-by-step -step instructions. That way, even if we get hit, we can check our notes. Ooh! Can I wrap mine on my glove? Sure. Come on, I'll explain on the way. A few more disorderly engagements, and they'll beg you to seize power, sir. Then you'll be our incompetent commander-in-chief. Yes, truly remarkable. I wouldn't start putting stars on your lapel yet, sir. You're about to get demoted. Because a competent soldier would never leave unsecured gaps in his perimeter line. Your specific abilities are no match for my general incompetence. Troopers, fall in. <laughs> Timo, deploy Operation Helmet to Helmet. Roger. Will do. Operation Helmet to... Huh? Check your notes, Skate Lab. Huh? Instructions. One, place one foot onto skateboard. Check. Two, push off. Check. Super Troopers, stop him! Three, say chica. Check. Chica. Oh! Chica! Repeat, jump. Repeat, jump repeatedly till bad guys go down. That I can do! Great work, Timo. Keep following our instructions. Hey, General, if I'm incompetent, how come I'm organized enough to do this? Now I've got you. Huh? It's time you were relieved of duty. General! 
But how did you overcome my mind-scrambling waves? It's called organization. Yeah, and it's the best way to overcome chaos and defeat you. All right, Helmetheads. You're gonna have plenty of time to get organized. In jail! Speaking of organization, I never realized how super organized the state needs to be to run smoothly. Well, I usually like to keep it loose and real. But when it comes to managing my state, <laughs> chaos totally cramps my gubernatorial groove. And that's why we'll never let it cramp. Because we're... Tito Supremo! Mom, sorry, I couldn't find my Graflutian Triclops beanie. That's okay. What's a little delay among Graflutians? All right, kids. Ready to go for an out-of-this-world experience? Uh-huh. Yeah. Indeed. The out-of-this-world cafe and museum of the unknown is my favorite place on this planet. I really feel at home there. <laughs> Hey, shouldn't people be running to the cafe instead of from the cafe? Maybe they put in some out-of-this-world new attraction. Have fun, kids. Hello! Crandall's mom is right! These new attractions seem way out of this world. Yeah, if I didn't know better, I'd think those creatures were real aliens. But of course I know better, so let's just enjoy the show. This is no show, Hector. Man-made intergalactic attractions would never intentionally destroy an unsuspecting snack stand. What are you saying, Crandall? I'm saying that those creatures are real aliens, and they're destroying my favorite place on Earth. Uh, you all right, Cap? Yeah, we've never seen you like this before. You know, purple. You don't understand. This is my favorite place, and those creatures are ruining it, which makes me really, really mad. Root me, Brenda. Shouldn't we talk about this? You know, come up with a plan? Talk to Mr. Pulse? Now, Brenda. Oh, we could try it this way. Bazaar! I sure hope Cap's anger doesn't affect his super judgment. Stop right there! Ride record! Stop roller coasters for the enjoyment of innocent thrill-seeking earthlings! Now get ready to see stars! Bazaar! Bazaar! Oh no! What's he trying now? I don't know! But we better help him before he wrecks more stuff than the aliens do! Look! Cap's so busy battling that baddie, he's not paying any attention to those people! Right there, interplanetary pummeler! No! Oh no, that alien shaking cup like a maraca! Now how did he let that happen? I don't know, but hop on, amiga! Happened. You were swung around and primed by a squishy space squid. And people almost got hurt because you weren't paying attention. Don't tell me how to do this, skate lad. Now what are we waiting for, Timo? Let's make those aliens pay! Wait a minute, Cap. Maybe you should calm down a little first. Then we can think of what to do. Hmm. Try counting to ten. I am counting. I'm counting on you two to help me stop those interplanetary evil doers before they smash the thing! Switch in the hyperdrive, Timo. But, Cap, I hate to sound like a scratch CD, but if we don't come up with a plan, we'll never get a grip on those galactic good for nothing. Yeah, and if you don't mind me saying it, you're really in no state to save the state. Bazaar! He's not listening. I know, and that's so unlike him. Those creatures must have nuked his last nerve. Skate lad, I heard about the aliens, and Cap's not answering his watch. Are you kids all right? We are, but Cap's kind of, um, thrown off the handle. Ooh, now that's whack. As you know, there is nothing cool about losing your cool. Nothing cool at all, Governor Kevin. Well, I hope your cooler heads prevail, and pronto. We hope so, too. Come on, Rope Girl, let's go prevail. <laughs> What's that? 
Kids, Governor Kevin thought you might need some help. That's an understatement, Mr. Paulson. Things got out of hand. Yes, I see. I found these on my way over here. Thanks, Mr. Paulson. I can really use these. Now, always remember, Captain Crandall, the best way to deal with a heated situation is to keep your cool. Colossal bummer, Timo. The aliens are attacking my building, and I need to work. That tears it! We're on our way! No time to chill now, Mr. Paulson. Come on, Timo. We've got some strange visitors who need to learn a lesson. Cap's acting like a strange visitor himself. And he really needs to learn a lesson. Come on, Timo. There's no telling what unearthly activities are going on in there. You might want to slow down, Cap. I think Skate Lab's right. I mean, those aliens could be just about... Oh! Anywhere. What have they done to you, Governor Kevin? Burn lips! You were expecting maybe the birthday bandit? What is your evil plan, and what have you done with Governor Kevin? Having failed before with vax presidents and bronze football players, I decided to go a little bigger this time, and it's working. <laughs> Observe as I mystify your precious governor. No! We love you, Governor Kevin! I know. So you were behind all of this. I should have known we weren't being invaded by real aliens. But you didn't, you little hothead. And now, by controlling my out-of-this-world aliens, I will take over the state, then the country, and then... Welcome to Blitzwelt! That will never happen, Baron Blitz! Come on, Timo! But... Simply stunning. Now. I have something special in store for the three of you that's equal parts insidious and cruel. And wait till you see what I got in store for you, you little hothead. Now, Captain Cranky Pants, you will observe helplessly as your two wonder bodies are lowered into that huge vat of evil sauerkraut. You never get away with this, Barry Blitz! But <laughs> Youch! <laughs> you should see yourself. <laughs> Struggling against my Burmese laser trap. <laughs> now, are we the same Kinderspiels? I have a state, a country, and a world to overtake. Buzza! Ow! Buzza! Ow! Buzza! Ow! Hurry up, Cap. This stuff is starting to sear my sinuses. Yeah, and I don't like shredded cabbage. Not to mention evil shredded cabbage. I'm sorry, Timo, but the harder I try, the stronger this laser trap gets. Wait a minute, Cap. You might be onto something there. What do you mean? Well, remember Mr. Paulson said that the best way to deal with a heated situation is to keep cool. Yeah, so? Maybe that laser reacts to anger, and the only way to decrease its power is to calm down. Do you really think it'll work? Hey, it's worth a try, amigo. Now think of something that makes you really happy. Well, okay, I suppose it couldn't hurt. <laughs> Here we are. Isn't it wonderful? Just like home. It worked. You're a genius, Rope Girl. If I am, then I'm a genius who doesn't want to smell like sauerkraut. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thanks, Cap. Now what should we do? I don't know, but I think it's important that we get control somehow. Now that I'm under control, that's a great idea. Wait a minute. Control. That's it. Timo, huddle. <laughs> I have to chuckle. <laughs> I've never done anything so insidious and cruel before. I'm even beginning to scare myself just a little bit all this alien business. Stop right there, Baron Blitz. Oh, I'm going to find out how you escaped in a minute. But first, you're going to learn a lesson you won't soon forget. I already have. Bust it or take this. <laughs> Timo, scramble! You got it, Cap! Do you 
really think I'd come to this party empty-handed? Hey! You Timos the Primos have alienated me for the last time. We hope so, Baron Blitz. Now to unfreeze Governor Kevin. Allow me, Cap. You've had a rough day. Whoop-ba! Thanks, Rope Girl. Sorry if I was out of control. Whoa! <laughs> that was super whack. Remind me never to do that cryogenic thing. Hey, it looks like you kids did an interstellar job of resolving the barren alien sitch. Thanks for taking control, Timo. No problem, Governor Kevin. It was easy once I finally took control of myself. I can dig that. Now, how'd you kids all like to hit the out-of-this-world cafe as soon as it's prepared, huh? I hear the floats and shakes are, well, <laughs> out of this world. Yeah! Oh, goody, can I come? Oh, maybe next time, Chief. <laughs> I'm just kidding you, you short galoot. <laughs> <laughs>